<laughs> time now, time now, time now. I'm getting adjusted to this thing. Okay, so Leos, I feel like some of you guys could have been coming out of depression. Um, there could be a lot going on in your life around you. Um, someone's home could have gotten broken into or business gotten broken into. So be mindful of that. Make sure you lock your doors and you have your cameras in your in your um, place of business. Um, I also feel like you're questioning yourself if you want to work at where you're working anymore. You don't know if you want to stay there or leave. Um, it's like, yeah, you like what you're doing, but it's like, um, it's just too much. It's a lot of energies to deal with. So I'm going to come out of depression. I also feel like um, your relationship is not in standard right now. I feel like you could be having issues in your relationship with your partner. I also feel like there's a lot of crying. Someone here could have been crying. Maybe your partner was trying to embarrass you. Okay. Let me see if I could turn turn this music. Turn this music. I didn't even know this thing was not plugged in at all. Do you mind if I stroke you up? I've been singing this song for a while now. So I feel like someone is coming out of depression. I feel like someone is thinking about leaving a job, staying in a job, leaving a relationship, staying in a relationship because things have been said that were not kind. Things have been, there have been an arguments, there have been a back and forth. You could have felt abandoned by somebody. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you felt abandoned, abandoned. Or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I keep getting a Capricorn <laughs> and a Scorpio. So you could have felt abandoned by this person. You could have felt like this person don't care about you. I also feel like um, <clears throat> you're worried about your children. You, you Maybe for a long time you've kept quiet in your relationship. And it's like right now, um, you don't want to be silent anymore. I don't know I'm getting named no word. No. No word, no word, something like that. You could have felt like ambushed. You could have, or someone feels ambushed. Um, you could have felt like <clears throat> dealing with your partner is like dealing with a kid. You know, um, I feel like you're worried about your child. You, you could be pregnant, or you could have just recently had a baby. I see an aura of yellow, orange yellow around you. Um. I feel like you have a grandparent, a grandma that's surrounding you with your energy, with orbs of light. I also feel like some of you guys could be celebrities. Um, I'm also feeling like um, you're worried about your children. You're worried about your the relationship you're in. You're thinking if it's healthy or if it's not a healthy um, relationship here. Also, I do see that you're thinking about an ex from the past. Blast from the past. Okay. Okay. But I feel like um, whatever this is, I feel like you're coming out of it. You're going to come out of it. I feel like you could have a toddler and you have a three-month-year-old baby. Uh, excuse me. Or you could be expecting a child, okay? Maybe you're still pregnant and you're three months or four months, five months, okay? But I feel like maybe your name starts with a J, James, or Jeff. You might be feeling like someone wants to have a baby by you or someone wants a baby. Um, but it's not even like that. Um, I mean, I'm not saying they don't want a baby by you. But I feel like it's not what you think. Uh, maybe there was a conversation about someone wanting to have kids. And maybe you already have enough kids. Maybe you have 10 kids already, 7 kids already, 4 kids already. And you don't feel the need to have any more. Um... And I feel like some of you guys are getting your power back. You're taking your power back from somebody that could have felt like they were taking your power from you. Could be family members. It could be a partner, Capricorn partner here. Um, I feel like you're taking your power back and you're standing your truth 
you stand in your ground and what you believe in and what you stand for. Um, there's somebody you don't want to keep disrespecting. You feel like somebody's disrespecting you or someone's trying to disrespect you. That's something you would not tolerate from nobody. Okay? Um, it could be a brother that you don't listen to. It could be a brother that you don't listen to. I also feel like you might be signing a new contract or coming to a new contract here. I also feel like luck of money is on the way for you. I feel like if you were trying to change your business or career on what you're trying to do, I feel like it's going to be successful change. It's going to be a successful career change. It's going to be a successful career move because I feel like you are in a you've been in a relationship where you are focusing more on the person that you were dealing with instead of focusing on yourself, right? So now, hold on. Instead of focusing on yourself, so now, okay, it hasn't started yet. So now you want to focus on you, get you back in shape, work out. So maybe you just had a baby and you're trying to get snap back, trying to get your snap back. Um, and I feel like you're trying to walk in your power now. I feel like someone could have taken you for granted and you're choosing yourself over, over everything else. I feel like you feel like someone behaves like a child. Um, someone is so immature and I feel like someone, someone does not care about your well-being. At least that's what you think. You feel like someone does not care about you or the kids. Okay. You feel like someone rather go play around and be around your friends than come home, you know, and then leave you out there. That's how you feel. And um, I almost want to say princess. But that's how maybe you're a princess. But that's how you feel, in, um, Leo. You feel like someone is playing games. I also feel like you, you can't stand your sister sometimes. And I feel like you could have lost a parent. Maybe someone's name is Emanuela or Emmanuel. Um, or someone's name is Christine. Christine. Um, or Chris Lee. Um, Chris Lee knows best. Um, but I feel like someone here is not listening to you and you feel like you <laughs> you feel like you're about to cut somebody off. And I feel like something could have brought y'all together where y'all have to do a face to face um communication here and they were still acting immature. It's like someone cannot damn, I feel like I'm having a conversation with you guys. It's like someone Someone is either scared of you or nervous around you when they get caught up in a lie. I feel like someone comes off shy or acts immature. Um, or some might act shy, but then, you know, in the bedroom, they're not shy at all. Or some might come off shy to you, and then later on, you find out, like, this motherfucker is not shy. The shit they're doing to me is not shy at all. Um... They beating it, beating it, beating it, up, beating it, up, beating it, up, beating it. Up. There's a water sign that is that feels justified. There's a water sign that there's <laughs> there's a water sign Pisces that feels justified, like they've won, but they haven't won. They've lost because, um, <laughs> or maybe for somebody they did. There's a part. If this is an ex. Pisces partner, they feel like they've won. If this is just people trying to interfere in your union with your partner, then they, they didn't win that shit. Okay, you won that. Okay, no matter what it is, like you're protected under some type of um, shield. Like you're being you're being protected under a shield, a bubble or something. Like revolting. I don't know. You're protected. Mhm. Mm and I feel like. You've come to terms with yourself with choosing you or choosing this partner. So let me go to the male Leos and see what's popping like a Leo's male. I feel like you're worried about your finances. You're worried about going back to work. Um, I feel like you're trying to walk away from this job. There's a job where they're watching you. You feel watched. You feel like they're keeping their eyes on you. They're keeping tabs on you. Like you can't even go pee without somebody. You know what I'm saying? Or you might have camera following you everywhere. And there's no privacy. It could be a show that you're on and you have cameras following you everywhere. Um, I'm getting named Tommy. All right. Um, I don't know I'm getting Gardner. Gardner? I'm also getting named Jennifer. 
you know, like someone could have gotten, you know, someone could have broken into your, I did say that earlier, someone could have broken into your home, but now I'm feeling like I want to say someone could have stolen your car or stolen your car keys. Um, someone stole somebody's car. It could be a Range Rover, a white Range Rover, or a Range Rover. I'm also seeing like a silver car. So I don't know if if they stole your car, let me know. Um, so that's why I said be careful. Make sure you lock your doors. Make sure that you double check your doors before you leave the house or before you get out of the car. Make sure you got an alarm system in your car so that if somebody try to steal it, that shit goes off. Um, something or camera in your car where you can watch it on your phone. So if you're a celebrity, Make sure you take, because you got the money, take high precautions, okay? Um, so, I feel like the males, you guys, uh, you want to see your child, you want to see your son. But it's like you're always worried about the mother of the child, or someone is always worried about you. Uh, maybe you have the kids, and they're worried about trying to get through you to see the kids. And it's like, you can see your kids, I don't give a fuck, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not going to stop you from seeing your kids. That's what I'm hearing here. Um, Leo, something is destined to happen. I, I'm going to leave this here because I don't know what that is. Um, what's destined to happen here? But I do, but let me go into the females because I'm going to be going back and forth. The female Leos, I feel like somebody got you fucked up on another trip. Somebody, somebody tripping hard and they got you fucked up. That's what I heard. Um, and I feel like. You're not, you don't want to be with this person anymore. you over it. Because they've showed you time and time again who they are. And it's like you're over it. But I feel like this person is fighting their demons. Especially if you're dealing with a Capricorn. Um, okay? Or an Aquarius. I feel like this person is fighting their demons. We could be dealing with um, a Sagittarius. That you can't stand sometimes, boy. Okay, um, I also feel like you might have your own skincare line, you might have your own makeup line, maybe style Priscilla, I don't know, you might have your own rose, you might have your own um, makeup line, okay, and I feel like you're, you're working on yourself and you're building yourself up. I feel like some of you guys want to change your job too. Not just the male, but females too. I feel like you want something better that's going to bring in more um, stability around you. Um, what's destined to be here is... Hold on. There's someone that you telepathically connect with. Okay? That's who you're destined to be with. You telepathically connect with this person. It's like, when you hear from this person, it's like, but someone is resisting this love. It's like you get telepathic information from this person. Like you could hear their thoughts or they could hear you. Um, or you guys have this Kendrick connection or this energy. Um, that's what you're destined to be with, I guess, child. Yeah, you're connecting with someone that gives you a new perspective on life. There's a lot of mind activity with this person. There's a lot of um, brain activity going on. Um, okay? There's a lot of brain activity going on. And I feel like this person is teaching you something. There's somebody here you're connecting with. It's like you're living one situation alone. And it's like, once you leave this situation alone, I feel like you're going to gain clarity and you're going to be connected with the person you're meant to be with. Um, I want to say check out Libra's li reading because some of you guys could be connecting with a Libra. I also feel like um, females, I feel like you guys don't want to keep doing this by yourself. I feel like there's somebody here. Um, you could have just had a baby. I keep getting a baby. Are you pregnant? There's someone here that's not putting as much work in this union than you are. It's like you're doing everything by yourself. You don't even want this person to be a part. Someone here does not want the father of their child to be a part of their life. Or um, 
because you feel like what's this emotions and intellect there's someone you connect with on another level it's like you connect with this person on an emotional level you connect with this person on an intellectual level you connect with this person on a spiritual level it's like god damn you fuck with this person heavy this person could be a water sign this person could be a water sign okay or this person could be a Libra. Keep getting a Libra. Um, <clears throat> I feel like, but someone here is resisting this love, Leos. Someone here is resisting this love. I feel like someone here is a fashion designer or fashionista. Maybe you dress up real nice. Six of water. Yeah, there's someone that's helping you build your career. There's somebody that's helping you. Could be a moderator or a co-worker or a partner here that's helping you build your channel helping you come up with ideas or helping you period build your brand and i feel like you're walking away from one situation and you're going into another situation because this person teaches you something new about yourself every fucking time every time you meet up with this person it's like you learn something new um about yourself about your spirituality it's like this person is very intellectually smart like they're smart as hell and you love that about them you love that this person is there's someone here that you love it's like you love this person but it's like there could be a blockage <coughs> or someone is resisting this love and it could be a libra you or Libra could be resisting this love. Mm -hmm. Queen of Fire. Some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign. This is you. This is your energy, though. I almost forgot you were Leo. This is your energy, exuberant energy. I feel like you're shining. Okay, there's a love interest. There's love waiting for you. I've been gone much too long. This is where I want to be. So I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Because home is where I belong. It's like you guys have been quiet for far too long and you're tired of being quiet. Maybe you're quiet because of someone's family. Maybe you're dealing with a superstar. You're dealing with a royal family. Um, someone here is in the royalty. Harry. Or maybe your name is a Harry. It starts with an H. Maybe your name is Charles. But I feel like the person you're destined to be with, you're with them. And this person teaches you new things every day. They teach you stuff. Okay? You could be dealing with a water sign here. You could be dealing with an Aquarius sign here. You could be dealing with Libra, but I feel like, um, or a fire sign, another fire sign, such as yourself, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But I feel like, um, someone here, someone is regretting what they've lost, or they regret that their mother is not here, is no longer here. Diane, Diana. So someone is still cries for their mother, but I feel like. This child you're having, this baby you're about to have, is your mother coming back, and something is destined. Megan or somebody is meant to bring your baby. I don't know why I'm saying this, but maybe your name starts with a C, but you're meant to bring this ancestor through this person. The ancestor was supposed to come through this person. An ancestor. A mother-like ancestor wants to come through this person. Uh, an ancestor wanted to come through this person. And I feel like you could have married somebody you were not even supposed to marry. Or end up with somebody you're not supposed to be with. And then now you want to be with somebody else that catches your fire and desire. Um, and I see in one situation where you have to leave your home. The home that you've known all your life. Or the place that you've known all your life. To go be with your family. Um, you have to put your foot down to, to move Canada. Maybe you're in Toronto, Canada, um, or you moved South Africa, Africa, maybe Kenya, but you moved 
um, to, to a new location here. Three of Cups. I feel like someone could have been with somebody because of a kid. Someone could have been with somebody because of an ancestor. Uh, maybe the kid came in form of ancestor. Maybe the reason you're supposed to be with someone was just to have children and leave them the hell alone. Uh, maybe the children were supposed to make them grow up or teach them new things in life here. Wow, Leos, you guys reading to, off the chain. All right, guys, a lot of family situation, a lot of um, situation here. Because home is where I belong. So I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Coming on, cause home is where I belong. I